What is up ladies and gentlemen, NYKia31 here bringing you a video. I haven't done this in a couple of weeks now, actually close to a month, but I'm going to be dissecting some um, NFL game footage, some game film, and I'm going to be looking at the Denver Broncos final driver regulation versus Seattle Seahawks. Um, I found this drive to be very interesting in a lot of ways. Football is often a mercilessly simple game. You find what gives your defense or the opponent's defense trouble, and you go to the well until they figure it out. And defenses do the same thing. Seattle Seahawks defense is pretty simple. They base out a single high cover three or um, two high cover three with a robber or a press man one. That's how they roll. And they're talented enough to do it. And this is a good little test of wills here between... Um, how the Broncos approach offense and um, Seattle's uh, defense. So I'm going to begin with the first play. Broncos come out and empty. You see, this is actually a pretty odd alignment. I'm assuming this is Julian Thomas because there's a linebacker here and Sherman's in the slot. So this looks like it's going to be man-to-man -man and they're at a two deep. Broncos are in an empty set. And they're going to run a switch concept here to the top of your screen. Yeah, this is man coverage the whole way. Receivers at the top are going to burst vertical. Inside release off the press here. And he's going to burst up field. Emmanuel Sanders is going to cross and then wheel up toward the sideline. And he's got the space, but he just misses it. Peyton just misses the throw. You see Earl Thomas here playing a robber. With Cam, with uh, Cam Chancellor going deep, again, Earl is just squatting, and they drop a defensive tackle back. So you have basically two guys in the hole here for any um, shallow or intermediate crossers. Sherman's on Wes Welker. Maris Thomas is running the post, and gee, Seahawks get away with this more than any team in the league. And Emmanuel Sanders is going to be running the wheel. Now the Broncos say, hmm, we had something there. What do they do the very next play? get to the next play. Same formation, this time the Seahawks are in their traditional um, cover three alignment. Byron Maxwell has taken the, tr the place of um, Brandon Browner as the press side corner. Sherman is in his customary left side of the field in an off coverage alignment. This is more than likely going to be cover three. Earl Thomas is squatting. He's reading the quarterback. Cam Chancellor is bailing deep right away. And they do another uh, dropper. They drop a defensive tackle off the line of scrimmage again. So just a three-man rush. Same exact play. Vertical release. Uh, check down. Bursting down the sideline. And he's going to run his deep post. Emmanuel Sanders run his wheel, switching off each other. Defenders lose sight of the receiver, wide open. So they went right back to the well. Drop technique with a defensive tackle. At the time they were playing their customary zone and they hit the void. Here he's just killing the clock.
trips formation, and Peyton has been doing this forever. This is going to start out as a four verts look, but the receivers have the freedom to break off their routes. Again, they're in their customary um, press coverage, off coverage alignment. They're showing two deep safeties. More than likely, one of them is going to drop into a robber. They do their um, the drop technique, their defensive tackle. Bail. Sherman's bailing all the way. This looks like it could be quarters, quarters, halves, as both safeties stay up top. So some variation of cover six with the uh, defensive tackle squatting. And looks like four verse off a snap, but Welker is going to uh, break off his route to the middle here. But there's obstruction here at the defensive tackle, so he hits the check down here. I try to hit the check down, but he fell down. Next play, here it is from the reverse angle. Drop technique. Next play, same formation. It's going to be the same exact play. But this time, Demarius Thomas breaks his route off to the sideline. Still the same check down, same route releases here. Welker sits into the void. Seattle again does a drop technique. Earl Thomas squats down here. But this time, Thomas is going to break his route off to the sideline. And it looks like... Who's on the slot defender there? on that side of the field. The slot defender recognizes the release of the uh, check down, so he's going to squeeze on that, and that's going to open up the throwing lane here, the sideline. Same exact play, different route variation. Because they had the freedom to break those routes off. The run and shoot lives! <laughs> Again, drop technique with a defensive tackle. Now, <laughs> if this was the video game, what is he doing? The pass blocking is broken. This is poor logic. You never see linemen do this in the NFL. Nerds. That's why I have a fun time mocking a vast majority of the sim community. They don't have any idea what they're talking about. Empty backfield, or empty set rather. They're going to go right back to that wheel. Again, Seattle has played a defensive tackle and a drop technique this entire drive. Earl is squatting. Cam is deep. Switch concept. Thomas is breaking off to the middle of the field, and this time it's Tammy running the wheel to the sideline, and again, they don't pick it up. Make them figure it out. If they can't figure it out, that's on them. And a touchdown. So a very good game of cat and mouse here on this last drive. Very fascinating to watch. I really enjoyed it. I got a chuckle out of it seeing things that people complain about in the Madden game happening in real life. It always makes me laugh. And here's just a great effort here by um, Julian Thomas in the back of the end zone. Just way to compete. This was a fun game. Really fun game. So I haven't forgotten about the Eagles offense. Don't worry. That's coming. I'm just having a hard time finding uh, 22 footage of the Oregon offense. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you all later. Peace.